Hello friends, here I have created a smart speech to text app which can identify questions and normal sentences and place a question mark at the end of questions and full stop at end of sentences. Plus it also converts the first letter of each sentence to a capital letter. Now let's compare it with Google. Hello, how are you? What is your name? My name is Sanjeev. This is how Google writes it. Now let's check it with my app. Hello, how are you? What is your name? My name is Sanjeev. So this is how my app writes it. Now let's see how I created this. Here I have placed a button, button 2 and I have an edit text, edit text 2. In on create, I use these more blocks, questions and adverb. Now these more blocks are actually the blocks where I add words to list, string list. So here I have a list string called string list and I have added all these words who, whom, what, when, where, why, etc. These are the words which if used at the beginning of a sentence, it is they are used to ask questions. So this will tell whether the sentence is a question or not. So here I have added all these words to string list and in adverb I have added these words to the list string called adverbs. The words are furthermore, moreover, additionally. These are the words after which we place a comma. Now after on create, I have created this speech to text component called stt and on button 2 click I have used speech to text stt start listening. So it will start listening when the user clicks this speak button and after this when it finishes listening speech to text on speech response I have used this more block write result. Whatever the resultant sentence it I have used a more block write for it. Now here I have defined this more block write. The first block is find question in words. So whatever sentence is the result, it will find a question in that. Now that is another more block and here I will show you this thing. Find question in text or in any string or sentence. So here I have set a string variable punctuation to a full stop and then for the length of this string list which is a list of all those question words, what, where, why, when, etc. So for that complete list of length of that list, I check, I check if the text or this string starts with any of the word in that string list. If it starts with any of the words in the string list, I set punctuation to a question mark. Means I change the punctuation from a full stop to a question mark. Otherwise, if it does not contain any of those words, then it remains a full stop. So This is how I check if the sentence contains a word which can be used to ask a question or not. So I do this in the beginning and set the string variable punctuation to a full stop or question mark. After that, I have a string called sentence, string variable sentence. And here I set this string variable sentence to, to a per case word substring 0 to 1 and word substring 1 to length of words. Means I convert the first letter of this words to a capital letter using this to upper case and then I set it to sentence. So this basically this sentence is equal to this words with the first letter as capital letter. Now the next thing is I check for this word hello. If this sentence contains or if it 
starts with hello, then I insert an exclamatory mark after this word hello in this sentence. So, this is another more block insert symbol after any word in a sentence and I will just show you what this more block is. Here I have used insert symbol after word in sentence. So, here I set sentence to join sentence substring 0 to length of word means this word in this sentence I join that and the symbol. So, first I put this word then I put this symbol after that I join. Okay, first I put this word which is sentence substring 0 to length of word, then I add symbol and then I add sentence substring length of word to length of sentence means rest of the characters in this sentence and I set it as this string sentence. So, here I have used that same thing, I have inserted an exclamatory mark after hello in sentence. After that I find I have used this same block again find question in words and here I find question in the words which are there after hello. So, that is why I have used words substring 6 to length of words. So, if the first letter is hello and rest of the sentence is a question then it will convert the string punctuation to a question mark otherwise the string punctuation will remain a full stop. Next thing is for inserting a comma, here I check if the words contain any of the words in this list of adverbs and if it contains any of the words in list of adverbs then I insert comma after that word which is like an adverb and in the sentence. So, if the sentence starts with the adverb I place a comma after the adverb and after that I set sentence to join sentence and punctuation means I put a full stop or question mark at the end of sentence and then I set edit text to trim edit text to get text. I trim edit text to get text means I remove spaces at the end of edit text to then I join a space, this is a single space and sentence and then I join it with this edit text to get text and then trim this complete thing and set it as the text of edit text 2. So, that is all here, I have already shown you the app, I hope this was useful, thank you very much for watching this.